What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And also please do not forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Check out our new composer Asha Cole and her new kit from Concrete. It's 15 premium compositions with the stems. Go and get it today. Also, do not forget to follow me on IG at Craftmaster3, the fastest way to get in touch with me. And follow us on Spotify, the Spicy Sundays podcast. Go to Spotify, search Spicy Sundays, listen to the podcast, catch up on the back catalog. It's historic, monumental producer news, tech news, cultural awareness. And if MG the Future is involved, you know. We have the 3 a.m. lifestyle on deck. Now, today, I want to show you guys something that's awesome. And it's not just for producers. Uh, this is this is something that is uh, it's going to work for producers and more and uh, more and more as people get into podcast life and wanting to explore those avenues. Uh, people who are streaming, um, you know, all you know, all the gamers out there, this bundle, the um the er the just the era products right we're gonna be focusing on the era products what these products are this is this is uh the company Accusonus. uh producers will know them from bringing us regroover and beat former um these what these are are these are amazing one knob amazing one knob plugins that solve problems that are specific to producers but moreover podcasters and streamers right i'm gonna do a series of videos on these because i don't want to i i i want to i want i want you guys to be able to find what you want this one i'm going to show you why this is a lifesaver for producers okay so if you guys follow my channel um and for those that don't i am really into hardware right i like uh i like outboard synths outboard effects guitar pedals for processing um channel strips the whole thing now if you've ever had any type of outboard effects or you know uh, uh you know mojo boxes or or um keyboards analog sense you know you know when you plug these into your interface um there is a there is a possibility a propensity for noise for hiss um and it's all it's all part of the analog world. You can do you know you can do everything you're supposed to. Plug everything into the same outlet. Uh, get yourself a, you know get yourself a Furman strip. Um, you know make sure that you're using all balanced cables. Make sure that your electrical cables don't cross perpendicularly with your with your audio cables. You can do the whole thing. And at some point you're going to run into a noise issue. And um, my friend Marcus Hutchkins um, over. Uh, he was telling me, you know, we, I was telling him about how I was getting into, you know, different outboard EQs and, uh, you know, this, this noise issue that I was having a small noise issue. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, you got to try out this ERA stuff, uh, because I have, I have the same thing when I use, when I use some of my compressors, they're a little, they're a little noisy and you can use, you know, you can use the noise remover plugin, you know, dial it in so that, uh, so that it works for you. And, um, you'll be good. And wow, I want to demonstrate just how, just how easy it is to back this stuff off. So what I have here is I have something, is I have something, I have an extreme example, right? Cause I want to show you how powerful it is. This is something that we like to do in hip hop. We'll take this, uh, we'll take this, um, you know, plugins like reels and introduce um, you know, wow and flutter trying to make, uh, an older style of effect on a dry piano. Right. So but I want you to think like, uh, you know, the, the, the guys, the, the guys that are into tape looping or, you know, uh, processing things. In this application, I get it. You just be like, oh, you just turned down the hiss on the plugin, right? But this is this is again, this is an extreme example 
um, you know, all the different all the different pedals and different different gearboxes have a propensity to give you some type of hiss, right? So when you bring when you bring the noise remover into in into it. Just at a just just at a eight, you hear, you hear how much that brings the noise floor down, and we're still maintaining the shine of the piano. Let's push it a little further. Piano still sounds like a piano. Fifty percent piano still sounds like a piano. Sixty-four percent it still sounds like a piano. And now it's and now it's almost dead quiet from this. The advantage, the advantage over a plug-in over a plug-in like this, as opposed to as opposed to something more advanced like RX8. And the reason why I like this, even though, even though, guys, I have I have RX8 in my dock. I use RX8. The thing about something like RX8 is you need to get the exact noise profile in order for it to cancel out right and depending on depending on how your patch base set up and uh, you know see the way my patch base set up um different chains are going to have a different noise profile with this it's a simple it's a simple insert it doesn't take up it doesn't take up that much cpu at all all right i mean look at it it doesn't take up much cpu at all okay and you can you can you you can dial in right so you can be aggressive with this i mean we went up to 82 percent and we still had the amazing sound of our piano um and you could do like a broad stroke with with the all frequency response this one i knew that i was fighting that i was fighting a hiss so i went ahead so i went ahead and went up to uh to this guy right here if you're fighting like um you know, a, a ground loop, a 60 hertz, 60 hertz bump. You can, you know, you can use this one. And then, and then these two, these two will give you a focus on, on your high lows. And then this one will, the, or, or your, I'm, I'm sorry, you, your high and your lows. So it's like, a, so it's like both of these at the same time. If you're experiencing like a hiss and the 60 hertz bump, which is definitely something that I experienced in my studio. And then you and then you have the mid frequency focus. So a very simple, straightforward plugin, but wow, is it powerful? Um and you and, and again you don't have you don't have to save you don't have to save a bunch of you don't have to save a bunch of noise profiles. Um the other thing is this isn't necessarily for things that you record on your own. So it, you know in hip hop if you're using, you know, if you're using samples and, and these rips off of, uh, you know, off of YouTube and other people's and other people's records, or if you have your own actual record collection, or, or if you dig and, you know, um, there, you know, there's something that you want to use and the noise is just like a little too obnoxious, but you don't necessarily want to high pass filter it again, this tool would be the tool for you. And the crazy thing about it, guys, is this is the, you know, this is available. This is available with the subscriptions, you know, so you could cancel them at any time. It's not, it, it's not like a trick to try to, to try to get you in here and pay these and pay these year long subscriptions. So you could, you could set your project up, know what, you know, you, you know, know what you want to use, go ahead and go ahead and get the subscription and get out. That's, that's what's amazing about it. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is it for the for the noise for the noise removal cuz I just think this is this is so powerful and it it works so well for what we do. Um you know, the next video I do, I'm going to show you guys how to um how to insert these plugins as filters into your OBS so that you can, you know, so that you can use them to catch a uh you know, to catch room noise from your mic, okay? Um using the voice deepener and uh and things like that because there are some really amazingly powerful tools 
in this bundle for that application. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio12Tutorials.com, CMPKits.com, guys. Go check out Asha Cole from Concrete. I want you to keep it simple, but do not be basic. And we'll see you on the next one.